as soon as I sat in the rugby chair, I knew. The first time I hit somebody, I knew it was the time. You know, this is definitely going to be the sport for me. When I cross the goal line, it's like it's like scoring a touchdown. I mean, it's just like hitting a home run in baseball. I love it. I mean, I, I feel like I'm 18 again. So I mean, I feel like a kid again. You're hitting people out there. Yeah, yeah, I, that's my favorite part. Hitting. I don't care too much about the scoring. As long as I get to hit somebody, I'm having fun. Because they don't ever see you coming, and you know, some like they see a guy in a wheelchair, and they're like, well, this guy, you know. You don't even need to be hurting him. Like today, we're playing people that are able-bodied, so they're kind of scared to hit us, so we're going to hit them first. Yeah, man, it's great, it's fun, it's hard work. It's wheelchairs and it's full contact, and everybody, you know, everybody wants that big hit, just like in football, so, I mean, everybody's going pretty hard. It's pretty intense. It's like football. You know, when we leave here today, we'll be definitely, we'll definitely be sore. Everybody needs to be blocking to the ball. Wheelchair rugby provides plenty of collisions, just like football. But there is more to this sport than crashing wheelchairs. These athletes are students of the game and use their wheels to their advantage. When the ball handler has the ball, you have to pick for the ball handler. You have to pick for your ball handler and let them come around you. And once they come around you, they're free to go. The Jags are passionate about their sport, but rugby gave these athletes hope when they didn't think there was any after their accidents. It's independence. I mean, I, I've got, you know, where I can do a lot of stuff by myself. You know, I don't have to depend on people to say rugby ball. Go daddy. Go daddy. Rugby ball, number one. And it's the love and support of his family that keeps John going. And this, is, this was a dream when I got hurt. I said, man, this will be something my kids can watch me do, you know, still play a sport, have respect for me. So I love it. I love them being out here, and they love watching it. So it's pretty, it's pretty fun. But John convinced his brother Eric to get into a chair and compete for a day. It puts things into a whole new perspective. Man, it does. I always knew it was hard, but it's so tiring. Um, I just I look at him totally different now, just knowing what he has to go through every week. I was glad to have him out here, and he's pushed me a lot, you know, to try to get better and, you know, get more independence. What was it like hitting him out there? Oh, it was wonderful, wonderful. I figured he wanted a little payback on me, but I figured I'd get it on him, so, but it was good. It doesn't matter that it's your brother, you're still hitting him? No, I still hit him, still hit him. Your mom's out here. It's pretty loud. What's yeah. it like having your number one fan out here? Well, you know, at first, you know, she didn't want me to play because she's like, well, you just broke your neck. You know, you're not, you don't need to be out here, you know, hitting folks. You may hurt yourself. And then she came to a game and she just fell in love with it. It's really great. Uh, brings back high school memories where I always hooted and hollered. Um, I never thought I'd see Will doing what he's doing now. I just thank God for everything he does. Jason Hurst, WJTV News Channel 12 Sports.